Ketamine-assisted psychotherapy programs are continuing to grow in popularity. This growth is often coupled with concerns and recommendations for its clinical implementation. Ketamine programs are currently not widely accessible and treatment must take place in a supervised healthcare setting. In-person treatment is a barrier for a lot of clients. Uh, This barrier was made greater by the COVID-19 pandemic. Additionally, the pandemic um, led to a increase in mental health diagnosis and a client desire for rapid, effective, and more accessible treatments. Ketamine-assisted psychotherapy programs are typically only provided in specialized centers and are res- have many restrictions like program capacity, uh, cost, and client preference for virtual treatment. The need for more accessible and affordable treatment for ketamine is apparent. Uh, Recommendations for more accessible implementation might include a less supervised treatment, which may be more viable with alternative formulations of ketamine with uh, alternative administration methods. For these alternative formulations and methods to be implemented effectively, more research to guide the frequency and dose would be needed. Counselors can contribute to this research um, by conducting their own studies or advocating for studies amongst other scholars. It's also important to note that ketamine carries with it a abuse potential. Just like other medications with the same potential, caution must be taken when treatment is unsupervised or prolonged over a long period of time. Just like with any other medication, a cost-benefit analysis of treatment should be considered only after other options have been exhausted.